What exactly is silvopasture? Silvopasture is a new word for an old system. It is an agroforestry technique that purposefully combines pasture or crops and trees into a unified system. According to research, pastures with trees trap 5 to 10 times more carbon in soil and biomass than similar sized enterprises without trees. Additionally, they offer farmers a variety of advantages, including better soil fertility and biodiversity, shade for animals, and a variety of food sources, as well as additional income from the production of nuts, fruit, timber, and other forest products like mushrooms. With increased meat and dairy yields, the land and animals appear to be in better health, and the farms are more robust as a result of the variety of revenue options. Transforming Pastures into Silvopasture Silvopasture is often developed by planting trees in previously established pastures. This removes the costs associated with clearing established forests. When planting trees in pasture, it's important to think about how you are going to protect the trees while they grow and while animals graze or machinery is used for crops. Also, when planting, consider the height and width of the tree once fully grown for proper spacing. Some people will choose to plant trees close together during the early stages and harvest some when they reach a certain size, thinning the growth so there is a harvest and that future trees can grow to full maturity. Select the healthiest trees to remain and mature. Selection of tree species. For the creation of silvopasture and other agroforestry techniques, both coniferous and broadleaf species could be taken into consideration. Depending on your climate and local pests, consider species that will accomplish your goals for the farm. Are you planting for fruit or nut production? Looking for a timber harvest? Forages for specific species of animals? Trying to prevent erosion? There's even nitrogen fixing trees that can aid in soil health. Choose based on your farm's needs. It is recommended to plant multiple types of trees to encourage biodiversity, an important principle of regenerative agriculture. Spacing between trees. Tree spacing must allow for adequate timber and fodder yields in silvopasture. In trials conducted in Georgia and Florida, it was discovered that a four by eight foot tree spacing with 40 foot foraging lanes between pairs of tree rows best satisfies these criteria. In the same studies, the double row four by eight by 40 foot tree spacing produced more wood and fodder than the single row eight by 12 foot control treatments. This style of tree planting has been popular for the creation of silvopasture in Florida ever since the mid 1980s. Advantages of starting silvopasture. Increased use of farmland for production. Land costs money to own whether it generates anything or not. Numerous acres of farmland exist but are not being utilized. These frequently consist of forestland, hedgerows, and edges. For instance, in New York State, 21% of farmland is forest, much of which is only occasionally accessed and used for pursuits like hunting, firewood gathering, and sporadic lumber harvesting. A large portion of this forestland is made up of a mix of young trees prickly shrubs, and thickets that make travel difficult. The potential to utilize these more marginal forest stands is provided by silvopasture, while farmers gain from better land use and a broad ecology of habitats to work from in a dynamic and ever-changing climate, animals can benefit from the protection the forest has to give. Increased stocking rate and carrying capacity. The ability to use more acres of land, as mentioned above, is one aspect of being able to raise more animals. However, Another aspect of being able to raise more animals is the ability to increase the quantity and quality of forage on a given acre, which increases the number of animals that the land can support. The carrying capacity of a land base is the total number of animals it can support, whereas stocking is the number of animals present on a certain plot of land for a specific period. Both ideas are built on the principles of rotational grazing, where forages can renew during a rest period. More food is made available by excluding animals and allowing this to happen. And if the food is collected at the right time, it may imply that more animals can be fed in less area. Increased animal comfort equals improved performance. One of the most crucial advantages quoted for solo pasture is shade. Anyone who has driven by a pasture on a hot day will see the basic logic behind this claim. Shade causes animals to experience less heat stress. The sheep are frequently jammed under the one tree in the pasture anxious to take advantage of the skin shade it provides. Unfortunately, those trees frequently endure such damage that they die off within a few years, taking the shade with them. Animals in pasture experience heat stress due to a variety of factors, including direct sunlight, and most importantly, the animal's own metabolism. Additionally, trees provide shelter in cold or windy weather. Silvopasture, solutions for the future. As silvopasture gains popularity, 
This research should assist guide the creation of new resources for farmers and government regulations may make it easier for more individuals to access these resources. For instance, the Agriculture Resilience Act by Representative Chelly Pingree would create a number of regional agroforestry centers around the nation to link farmers with technical assistance. While this is going on, the Savannah Institute is researching to better understand how farmers might grow fruit trees as a commercial crop while still adhering to food safety regulations. According to some of the House Climate Plan's recommendations, farmers and ranchers who use silvopasture would receive significantly higher financial incentives and grant programs like the Conservation Stewardship Program, or CSP, and the Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or E2IP, would give silvopasture applications priority over those from other land use types. Olinger has planted some of his trees using funding from the State Department of Natural Resources, but he has highlighted numerous times that propagating the system won't succeed unless farmers are given legal backing to remove obstacles and permanently apply it. Grace said that getting there will take a greater mental adjustment, particularly in the Midwest where agriculture choices are made on an annual basis. Part of the answer is that anything with trees has to happen kind of slowly, at least on a different scale than we're used to making farming decisions, he said. But if all of the pieces fall into place, I think we could have a more productive system that is actually making money for people. Sustainable food, farm grown with care. Learn more about the regeneration of farms and communities through farming with the Regenerative Farmers of America blog. Get the latest tips and news from passionate advocates of responsible farming and access amazing resources from implementing regenerative agriculture to environmental conservation. Improve the sustainability of your own food supply contribute to your local farm economy, and learn about the necessary steps to become a part of this food movement that promotes healthy soil, healthier foods, and more healthy communities. Visit the Regenerative Farmers of America blog to gain knowledge, take part in the food revolution, and see the regenerative farming revolution come alive. To maximize the production of timber, forage, and livestock from the same area at the same time, silvopasture is a deliberate, integrated, and intensively managed system. Planting trees in an improved pasture is one method of creating a silvopasture. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions about silvopasture, drop them in the comments.